hello and uh, welcome to uh, my first Photoshop tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be making a uh, YouTube channel background, a bit like this. Yeah, you don't have to use this background, but I'll put a put it on file front and put a link in the description or something. Yeah, and also you'd need to download this template which I got off of YouTube for the 2.0 backgrounds and then there's the picture right so yeah just start off on this one uh, make the background pa panels invisible you can leave the fade uh, and get rid of the rim and we also just don't need the text either so we'll just make that invisible as well now where your video is going to be um, Delete that right there. Oh, sorry, I'm on the wrong, on the wrong layer. There we go. Yeah, delete that, and then drag in your background image and stretch that over the background. Drag it all the way down to the bottom. Now we're going to add a uh, lens flare effect and we're going to put it on, I think it's that, Hang on. yeah, just put it there and we'll lower the brightness a bit, which is about 69, oh, I've done that wrong, so yeah, should we start there? Render lens flare and then put it there. Yeah, there we go. Just there. Um, okay, now we'll uh, create a mask for this. So I click the mask tool down there and then go to gradient. And we're going to be making a gradient like that. So you need that to be black, that to be black and that to be white. Set opacity there to zero and there I've got mine on like 81, 80% 80 uh, but you can leave it as 100 doesn't really matter and then just drag that down there like that. Now click back on to that little square next to you your mask double click on the layer click drop down shadow drop shadow on the side there then click onto it set the distance to zoom to zero and then you can just fiddle with the spread and the size so you get a nice drop shadow type thing there we go okay just group that. Close that, right. Put that into the group. There we go. Alright, close that up. Right, and now we need a new layer. Uh, and we're going to put our text in. So, mine will be. Pick on my media, that's it. Uh, hang on. Uh, the text I'm using, the font I'm using is Bank Gothic. Um, you can download that off site like, if you just go onto Google and search it. Right, so now I'll just cl click off it. Double click on, no, I don't want to do that. Don't want to double click. Uh, let's choose our colours. I'm going to go for an orange. So, get the colour picker tool and I'll pick that orange there. That's my first one. And then go for a, another darker orange. About there. And then with the darker orange, just switch that twice. Make that dark. And switch that twice. 
And then do the same again there. Yep. Okay, now we're gonna make a little reflection. So, we do is duplicate that layer. Uh, go to edit, transform, flip horizontal, and then drag that down. Now I've done that wrong. Flip vertical is what I want to do. Freaking out. Oh, excuse my language. Uh, flip back horizontal, and then we'll flip vertical. There we go. Flip vertical. And then we want to add a mask, and then like we did on the content here, get the same gradient type thing, and drag it till it looks kind of like shadow like reflection like there we go there we go that's a bit dark there we go that's that's nice All right um let's just have a peek at this what the what else do I need to do no that's it. Yeah, so now that you've created fact now I'll just bring the opacity down on that a bit. Right. So now we've done that, that's your background. Um sorry, I was just watching T V. Keep myself distracted. Um yeah, so now I'll go to save as. You can save it as whatever you want. Mine's usually saved as YouTube background. Uh, I'll save it as one because it's still on there. Save your PSD. And then you want to do save as again. And then save it as a JPEG. Yep, and that'll be it. We're done there. Um, if you like this video, uh, be sure to uh, rate, rate it, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you want a good website for getting like backgrounds and stuff, uh, there's this one, which is where I got that background. Uh, Wall.alphacoders.com. I'll put a link in the description. Um, there's lots of nice ones on there, and if you click like little category there you just keep flicking through till you find a nice category or you can go on more categories up there I don't know um, yeah and you can just pick one that you like and then you can do the colors to resemble yeah to resemble the picture so yeah hope you like the tutorial um, tell me if you liked it and I'll do some more and Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe.